The smoke point is the temperature at which oil or fat begins to break down and release smoke. This can affect the taste, aroma and nutritional value of food as well as human health. In the context of cooking, the smoke point is one of the more important factors to consider to achieve perfect flavor and texture in a dish. The smoke point is the highest temperature at which oil or fat can be used for cooking without emitting smoke. Typically, this depends on the type of fat used. For example, saturated fats like lard have a higher smoke point than unsaturated fats, such as canola oil. Vegetable oils usually have a lower smoke point than animal fats. Additionally, the smoking of fat can lead to the formation of free radicals, which are harmful to the body, making it important not to exceed the smoke point during everyday cooking. Cuisines around the world use various fats including canola oil, olive oil, peanut, sesame, coconut, sunflower, and many others. Each of these fats has a different smoke point, so it's important to choose the right fat for the dish being prepared. For instance, if one wants to fry meat, a fat with a higher smoke point, such as coconut oil or lard, should be chosen. For salads, it's best to use olive oil, which has a lower smoke point but is great for cold applications. The smoke point also affects the flavor of dishes. When fat reaches its smoke point, it starts to emit an unpleasant odor and taste, which can permeate the dish. If the fat with the appropriate smoke point is not used, it can affect the taste and aroma of our dish, potentially leading to an unpleasant taste. A too low smoke point can also make the food greasy and difficult to digest, impacting our health. It's also worth noting that the smoke point has significance for human health. When cooking at high temperatures, such as frying, fat can create carcinogenic substances like acrolein, which are harmful to health. Long-term exposure to these substances can lead to cell damage and increase the risk of cancer. Therefore, it's important to use fat with the appropriate smoke point to avoid releasing harmful substances during cooking. Some studies suggest that the high temperatures used in cooking can affect the nutritional value of food. For example, research has shown that high temperatures can lead to the loss of vitamins and other nutrients in vegetables and meat. Therefore, if we care about the health and nutritional value of our dishes, we should pay attention to the smoke point of the fat we use for cooking. The healthiest oils for frying. The choice of the healthiest fat for frying depends on many factors, including the frying temperature, taste preferences, and market availability. Here are some options considered to be good choices for frying. Coconut oil is one of the best oils for frying at high temperatures due to its high smoke point, which is around 177 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Coconut oil contains saturated fatty acids making it more stable than vegetable oils containing unsaturated fatty acids. Clarified butter, or ghee, from which proteins and water have been removed, has a great taste. It is also rich in nutrients such as vitamins A and K, as well as butyric acid, which has anti-inflammatory properties. It has a very high smoke point of about 252 degrees Celsius, 485 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning it can be used for frying at very high temperatures. Olive oil is rich in healthy fats, including monounsaturated fatty acids, which can help maintain good heart health. However, it's worth noting that olive oil has a relatively low smoke point, so it may be more suitable for frying dishes at low or medium temperatures. Canola oil has a smoke point of about 204 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It is rich in omega-3 fats, making it a good choice for frying dishes at medium temperatures. Evening primrose oil has a very high smoke point of about 210 degrees Celsius, 410 degrees Fahrenheit, and is a good choice for vegetarians and vegans. It also contains a lot of omega-6 and omega-9 fatty acids. It's important to note that some vegetable oils, such as sunflower or soybean oil, have relatively low smoke points and can create harmful compounds when subjected to high temperatures. Therefore, it's best to avoid frying with fat that is not intended for high temperature frying and also to avoid overheating oil as this can lead to the formation of harmful substances for human health. The worst oils for frying. Some oils are less suitable for frying than others because they contain unsaturated fatty acids which are more prone to oxidation at elevated temperatures. In extreme cases, they can cause the loss of nutritional value and the formation of harmful compounds. 
Here are some oils that are better to avoid for frying. Flaxseed oil contains a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which makes it beneficial for health. However, it has a very low smoke point, so it is not suitable for frying. When heated, it quickly oxidizes and becomes toxic to the body. It is much better to use it cold. Sunflower oil is popular due to its low price and availability, but it has a relatively low smoke point, making it unsuitable for frying. When frying, it can oxidize and create harmful compounds that may negatively affect health. Soybean oil has a high content of omega-6 fatty acids, which can lead to excessive production of pro-inflammatory compounds in the body. It also has a relatively low smoke point. Corn oil Corn oil has a relatively low smoke point, making it unsuitable for frying at high temperatures. During frying, it can oxidize and create harmful compounds, negatively impacting health. Choosing the right oil for daily cooking and dietary needs is vital for both health and culinary success. While some oils, like extra virgin olive oil, are perfect for enhancing salads with their rich flavors and health benefits, they are not suitable for high heat cooking due to their lower smoke points. This can lead to the degradation of oil, affecting both the taste and nutritional value of the food. For frying or sautéing, oils with higher smoke points, such as avocado oil or refined coconut oil, are recommended as they can withstand higher temperatures without breaking down. Incorporating a variety of oils into your diet, based on their intended use and health benefits, can enrich your culinary experience while contributing positively to your overall well-being.